rules for thee, but not for me. That is the politician's way. Have a look at this. Have a look at these two images. The one on the left is, of course, uh, the premier of the uh, Mpumalanga province. That's the top politician in the province of Mpumalanga, waltzing about, hugging people, having a grand old time at the funeral of the late minister, uh, that's um, Jackson Mtembu, excuse me, and she did this without a mask. That's right, without the very thing that has seen 7,000 South Africans since the start of Level 3 lockdown be arrested after mask wearing was made. On the right, you see a gentleman who is being manhandled by police after Begit Ele had instructed them at a nearby mall in Kwamashu Township in Durban, instructed these police officers to arrest this young man because he didn't have a mask. Notice the difference as to how ordinary South Africans, including some of the poorest South Africans, are treated when they don't, when they don't follow the so-called asinine Level 3 regulation laws versus how politicians are treated, where they can lord their privilege um, over us, the plebs. Um, that's the difference, of course, between these two images. And indeed, that's the hypocrisy that we're seeing here. It is blatant, it is callous, and it's reached a point where the politicians, the political elites in this country, do not even care what you think about it. That is the hypocrisy. Where in the one instance, a top politician in the province of Mpumalanga, the premier indeed of that province, is able to waltz about on live national television at what was the funeral of Jackson Mtembu, the late government minister who passed away recently, and waltz about at that funeral uh, without a mask. Indeed, there are images and videos of her hugging police officers, believe it or not, at that same funeral, heading up all the way to the podium with the government logo and insignia right in front of her without a mask. And again, don't get me wrong, I personally, with the mask debate, am erring on the side of the data, the evidence and the science, which shows that COVID-19 is not stopped by mask wearing. It's absolutely asinine to believe that COVID-19 will, will be stopped or the, the, there will be a stopping of the spread of COVID-19 simply by mask wearing. The data is on my side in this. You can have a look at the PANDA group. That's the Pandemic Data Analysis Group who have put out numerous studies in this regard. I have put up links with numerous studies in this regard. I'm confident in the science backing me on this particular point. But that's irrelevant to the particular point being made on this show, this quick vlog, which is what the politicians told us to do, i.e. and made it mandatory legally, they themselves don't do. So they make it mandatory legally in this country for people to wear a mask when they're outside. Yet here they are themselves not doing that. So that it is that level of hypocrisy which sees ordinary people ever increasingly see no value in actually following the law. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Every time a politician breaks the very law that they enforce and often use violence by the state to enforce, it erodes people's trust in the legal system. It erodes people's trust in the state and government. Not that we should be trusting the state or government. Another issue for another day. And worse yet, and what really concerns me, is that it erodes people's co consent to being governed um, through the rule of law. It creates a society where the rule of law is seen as poppycock. Why? Because those who write the laws and apportion so much power for themselves don't follow the laws themselves. A reminder to you that you're governed by people who are absolute hypocrites. Absolute hypocrites. And that the point I've made at the very beginning of this lockdown and right throughout it, which is the longer this thing continues, the longer you're governed by politicians who rule by diktat with little by the way of accountability, and the longer they push these asinine, illogical and unscientific rules and regulations on you, the longer that continues, the more the very lockdown itself will collapse under the weight of itself. It will collapse under the weight of itself. Where it will be that ordinary guy who will now refuse to be arrested. I mean, you saw images of that young man being arrested 
and the video actually continues to the community members or rather people in that area literally coming to his defense and um i mean one of the ladies who sells uh, an informal trader in the area just says hey man forget you trying to arrest this guy i'm going to give him a mask let him go for now all of that is very peaceful and it's very nice but the day will come where ordinary people, poor people who have been subjected to the violence of the state by politicians who pass these asinine and illogical laws, the day will come where the pushback won't be peaceful. It won't be peaceful. Because you're pushing and you're squeezing people into a corner where these lockdown regulations, unscientific as they are, people are beginning to wake up to that. And no, it won't be like in America and in Europe where people make these lofty speeches oh, on liberty and this and that, as I do, for example, here on the show. It will rather be a response by an ordinary people, an ordinary on the ground people, a, a, a response from the gut where they can tell they're being dribbled, distracted and shafted by the political elites. And no amount of niceties will prevent their anger and their response. That's not me wishing for it. That's definitely not me inciting it. That is me showing you and telling you what is happening around you. But you don't see it because the vast majority of you who are these lockdown cultists, as I like to call you now, live in these nice bubbles where you listen to your favorite politicians, you listen to the media who are dribbling you and you're not talking to South Africans around you. Let alone are you walking in poorer segments of the country where this lockdown effectively doesn't exist. And check out my previous vlog where I share an experience and experiences with you of what I see in Umlazi, Phoenix, and some of the townships that I've been in since being here in Durban. So continue to not listen to people, especially the poor people, at your peril, dear politician. Remember, homie, there's an election coming up soon. Good luck to you. <laughs> On that point, thanks for watching this short vlog, guys. As always, you can support the show uh, by contributing to it, towards it financially. Or hey, if you can't contribute financially, no problem. Just share the link. Share the show to all of your friends. The Big Daddy Liberty Show. Uh, interesting comment, content coming to you this year. We're busy with the planning phase of quite some interesting stuff. So keep tuned and keep watching the show. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, as I always end my shows, a reminder for you to never trust a calming. <laughs>